Today's video is going to be a flip through of my three planners for April 2021. So if you're interested in seeing what I did in my planners this month, keep watching. Okay, so every month I've been doing these flip throughs and you guys seem to like them. So I'm going to keep doing them um, this year at least and we'll see. But um, so I have three planners here. I have my creative journal, my work planner and my catch all. Those are really the only three planners that I use on a consistent basis. So let's start with my journal. And I did just do a journaling video um, and you probably saw some of it in there, but we're going to do it anyway in case you did not watch that video. So let's go to April. I don't fill out my monthly in my journal hardly ever. I think I have maybe once, but maybe I should start doing something with that, but I just don't. Okay, so in this, you're gonna find some things are covered and that is because I need a little bit of privacy, you guys. I need a little privacy, so that's why. This spread is not at all my favorite. In fact, it's probably my least favorite of the year so far. I just don't like how it turned out. I don't like how I wrote in it. I don't really like anything about it. So, and then I forgot to write on the weekend and I just left it blank because I was just finished with this spread. I'm just like, nope, I don't like it. So it gets better though, because this one's pretty cool, right? So I used these flowers and somebody asked me where these are from. I think they're from botanicals, maybe. I'd have to go back and look, but I decided to create two rows here of flowers and I basically cut them to fit the rows and or columns I should say not rows columns um, and I really really like how it turned out before the pen I was like kind of iffy I wasn't really sure but after the pen I think it's really really cool um, I like it a lot and I, I like the blue with the black it's just a different type of um, color combo and a different kind of vibe so there you go this one was really good and then here we go. Here's one that just didn't happen this week for some reason. I'll do better next week. I mean, sometimes it happens, you guys. I'm not perfect. Neither. Oh, look at my nails with this spread. <laughs> no one's perfect. And some weeks you're going to, you know, do better than other weeks. Some weeks you'll fill them all out and like write all the lists and everything. And the other weeks you're just going to be like, you know what? I've got a, either I'm super busy and I've got so much going on or like I just am not feeling up to it this week. Or you just... I don't know, anything going on in your life can make you um, forget to write in it in for a week or not want to write in it for a week, and that's okay. Just get back into it like I did this week. So this was the new Jungle Vibes sticker book from the spring release, and I really like this one. I brought in a lot of like different color pens in here, and I think this turned out super cute, and I'm pretty satisfied with this. And then this one is really cool. So this is where I took a whole bunch of um, ephemera, blah, 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 ephemera from my basement that was actually stuff from the 80s. So I've got my old concert tickets, some old photos and um, movie tickets and stuff like that. And I just kind of put them down with, and then I cut these cassette tapes out of um, um, some scrapbook paper. And I thought it just kind of went together with that theme. And then while I was filling it out, I kind of tried to do like a high school vibe, you know? And so like I drew these little like, you know, this and like the little box I used to draw in high school. We have some doodles up here. It just felt very like 80s and high school. And I really love how this turned out. I think it's just so fun. Okay, so that is my journal. Now let's go to my work planner. This is a classic dashboard. And we are going into April. So here is my April, um, my monthly. And what I use my monthly for in my work planner is to plan out my YouTube schedule for the month. And it usually looks like this, you guys. It's all over the place with scratches, with whiteout. And um, it's, it's never, you know, perfect. And I don't care because it's functional, it's super functional for me. Okay, so here's the first week of the month. I really like this one. This this spread kind of, and and by the way, 
a lot of these, most of these spreads in my journal and in my um, classic dashboard work planner are Patreon exclusive videos. And that's why you might not have seen these. There were a couple I did on YouTube, but for the most part, these are Patreon exclusive. Um, there's a certain tier of my Patreon where they get exclusive videos every week. I think they get, they typically get like two a week, sometimes three, sometimes one, but usually two. Um, and so I usually do these planners on that. So that's why you didn't see this one on YouTube. Anyway, I started with these flowers and can't remember where I found these in one of the floral sticker books. I thought they were cool. And I was going to combine them with like some colors. And then I decided to just go all for this one kind of corally color. And I really kind of like how it looks. It's just different. I don't usually do monochromatic spreads like that, but this one was pretty cool. I liked it. So as you can see, as we go through April, I started using this planner less and less, and I'm not really sure why, but uh, I still do use it. It's just, I'm not using it as much. And I don't know if it's because it's not functional enough for me. Maybe I need something else or what's going on, but it's gonna get, it's kind of like, I used to fill it up completely now, it's, but it's still working for me. Just because it's not completely filled up does not mean that it's not functional for me. It is, but I'm, I think part of it is I'm also using like daily sheets and I have a couple of daily planners that I pull out and I use those for lists and stuff. So I don't need this as much, but I have still been using it. So the, these stickers were really old. These are from one of the Happy Memory Keeping books. Like, I don't know if you recognize that. That's a pretty old sticker, but I thought it was cute. Not the best spread. It's very, it was very plain before the pen, but it did the job and it's cute enough to make me write in my planner that week. Same with this one. This is Happy Blooms, um, the Happy Blooms sticker book. And this was cute and fun. And I, every month the color here changes with this dashboard planner that I have. So I try to sort of match that when I'm working on the spread for the week. And um, I like this one. It was cute. I didn't write in it much this week. These florals were, I believe, um, Live Love Posh, one of her sticker books. And I really like, that, like this. These florals pretty much can like stand on their own for a spread. I did bring in this sticker too and some boxes, but it's pretty decorative on its own. And I used a lot of them. <laughs> this is probably my favorite one of the month. Oh, except that after I took the picture, I was like testing pens on it. That's what, like, I don't care. Like my work planner is just so functional that I don't care if there's scribbles and like testing pens and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I really, really like this spread. I just think it was so fun. And this is the um, Happy Life book, I believe, with these stickers. And then these are Live Love Posh, these florals, and it just felt like really matching and, and it just felt good. I don't know, simple, clean, I don't know, I really like this one a lot. So I, I obviously didn't fill out today's goal on those days, but it's okay, it's okay. And here is my May Currently page. Um, the Currently page is where I put my income for the month. So I'm not gonna show you April's, but I think I showed you April's in March. That's what I'm gonna typically be doing. So you can see the before the pen and kind of see what I do with it and where I'm going with it, but then like the details with it filled in, I'd rather not share because that's personal to me, but you can see how I organize it. So for May, like this, this is typically what I do. Like I usually put my streams of income here and I put a box for each. And then at the end of the month, I go in and I add up all my income. I go to my bank accounts and stuff. I add it all up in the different categories and put them in there. Here I put expenses for planning with Bumble. These are the sponsors for the month. And over here is the affiliate income. And I have them broken out into like Happy Planner, Archer and Olive, Amazon, Washi Tape Shop, and I forget what other one I was gonna put there. And then I'll put like a miscellaneous. This one might be miscellaneous where I add it all up for all the other stuff. So I got these stickers from this book, the new Good Vibes sticker book. I think it's cute, you know, it's different and like, just something nice. So this was also a Patreon exclusive video. All right, so that is my work planner for April. Next up, let's check out the big daddy, the big planner. Um, 
or April. Okay. Let me make sure this is in frame because it is a big planner. Okay, it is. All right. So this is my currently page for April. I thought it turned out so cute and delicate. And I used um, a another sticker book. This was not Happy Planner, um, like an American Crafts sticker book or something. I forget exactly what it was, but isn't that cute? Like the little bird and the bunny and butterfly. I don't know. I really, this appealed to me. And also I started doing um, the prompts instead of just currently reading, drinking, eating, etc. I wrote down questions for myself to answer. And I actually really like this because I think it's just going to be really fun to look back on. So is the other, but I felt like this is a little more detailed, you know, so I think I'm going to do this kind of thing going forward. Um, maybe switch it up sometimes. Okay, so this is my self-care monthly page. I decided for April that I needed to kind of work on some self-care things. So each, um, each week there was a different category of each thing and I wrote in what I did for the week. And here comes your friendly neighborhood kitty cat, Wallace, fatty fat cats. Hello, Wallace. Do you realize we're filming right now? I know they love you, but we are filming. You can sit in my lap. Maybe you'll hear him purr. Okay, so this is the first week in April. Really love how this one turned out because I decided, like I always try to do different things, right? Like I get bored with doing the same thing all the time. And this, this time, wait to hear him. I don't know if you can hear him, he's purring. This time though, I decided to make sections of flowers. And typically when I do that, I'll do like here and here, but I decided I was gonna switch it up and do like a big section here and then a different shaped section over here. And I think it turned out really, really cute um, just for a change. And and yeah, it does take away a lot of the spread, right? Especially here. However, I knew I didn't have a lot going on here and it was fine because um, this is a big happy planner and I have so much room in here to write, so it was okay. This is probably my favorite one of the month, I think. I have to look at the other ones, I think so, though. I decided to do like a lemon spread and I just did like a big quote at the top and I just thought it was so fun and I love yellow so much and I really am, am a big fan of like the yellow and turquoise combo. I think that's super fun. So I really enjoyed this color combo and like the polka dots. I love everything about this. It just makes me happy. This was also Bumble's birthday week, which I didn't do, you know, a, uh, a Bumble spread because I had done a Bumble page separately. But anyway, I love this one so much. This is another good one. I actually really like my spreads this month. Um, this one was the, whatchamacallit, what sticker book was, is a spring release sticker book. I think it's Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of it. Um, wait, it is called, and I have a cat in my lap, so I can't get up and look. Um, I forget what it's called. Anyway, it was really, really cute. I love the color palette in this book. And I decided, you know, strip, sti strip stickers are typically like to cover the lines or put them um, horizontally for the most part. Um, and I decided, no, I was going to do little vertical abstract boxes and I thought it turned out so cute. I love it so much, so much. Okay, oh, and I love this one too. So this is my Earth Day spread. I've never done an Earth Day spread, but I thought this one would be so fun to, to do. The first thing I did with this spread is I just basically cut this out, um, printed this out online and cut it out. And then I took these big leaf stickers and put them down. I had gotten these leaves at the washi tape shop, but they don't sell them anymore, I don't think, because I went back to look to link it for you and I couldn't find them, unfortunately. I also got these little trees from the washi tape shop and I did link those. Um, all these big Happy Planner spreads, there is a video on each of these. Like that, the one thing I always put on my channel is my big plan with me every Monday. So you can go back and see all of these if you're interested in any of those to see like what sticker books I used, where I got things, um, how I did everything. So you can always go back and watch those videos, okay? So anyway, I really like this one. 
I like the blue and green, and I don't know if I've ever really done a blue and green combo. I must have, but I don't remember. It's been a very long time if I did. And this one's good, too, you guys. This was the new Out for Adventure sticker book, and this is so fun. I love this spread so much. And I cut this big tropical leaf out of a an old Happy Planner divider, and I thought it would just be fun to repurpose that and to make it like the centerpiece of the spread. And I love how this one turned out. I also love like the colors I picked for the letters. It's like pastel and pretty. So this really gives me like good feels, you know? And um, there's my May currently page, but we don't really need to go there yet. We'll show you next month. And that's it. That is it. That's all my planners for the month. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what was the favorite spread of yours that you saw out of my spreads. I would love to know. Um, that's sorry. I said, um, so much in this video. I feel like I said, um, every freaking sentence. Sorry about that. I'm trying to work on that. Sometimes it's hard. It's hard, you know, trying to prevent yourself from saying that. You know what I mean? You probably do. So anyway, have a great day and, uh, Take, I said it again, uh, I don't know, just smile a lot today if you can, just smile. Sometimes if you fake the smiles, it will make you feel better anyway, you know, then maybe you can fake, fake it until you make it, you know what I'm saying? All right, have a good one. I will see you in my next video. Bye.